Have you ever imagined flying a motorcycle like in a sci-fi movie? Well, that's no longer just fiction. Meet the X Turismo, a real hover bike from Japan that brings those futuristic dreams to life. In today's video, we're going to explore what makes this flying machine so unique, how it works, and where it could take us in the near future. The X Turismo is a hover bike developed by a Japanese company called Air Winds Technology, formerly known as Ali Technology. It looks like a motorcycle, but instead of wheels, it uses propellers to lift off the ground and fly. This isn't a drone you control from the ground. It's designed for someone to actually ride, just like a bike. But instead of speeding down a road, you'll be flying through the air. The X Turismo uses a hybrid system to fly. It has a regular internal combustion engine, a powerful one like those found in racing motorcycles. This engine drives two large propellers in the center, which are mainly responsible for lifting the vehicle into the air. On each corner of the hover bike, there are four smaller fans powered by electric motors. These smaller fans help keep the hover bike balanced and allow the pilot to steer it safely. So, how fast and far can it go? The X Turismo can reach a top speed of about 100 km per hour or around 62 miles per hour. It can fly for about 30 to 40 minutes on a full tank and charge. It weighs around 300 kilograms and can carry one person plus up to 100 kilograms of additional weight. That's enough for a pilot and some gear. Safety is a big focus for this kind of flying vehicle. The X Turismo includes a 3D control system to help the pilot stay in control at all times. It also uses sensors to avoid obstacles, along with a smart app that monitors the vehicle's health and location. So, there are built-in mapping and routing systems to guide the flight, especially in complex environments. It's, uh, pretty cool how these systems help you navigate safely. When it first came out, the X Turismo was priced at about $777,000. That's a lot. Clearly it was made for collectors and tech enthusiasts, but Airwinds had plans to release a smaller, fully electric version that would be much more affordable. They aimed to bring this version to market by 2025, hoping to make personal air transport more accessible. Despite its exciting design and potential, the journey hasn't been easy. In early 2024, the company filed for bankruptcy. Still, the X Turismo remains a major milestone in urban air mobility. It shows what's possible when innovation pushes the boundaries of what vehicles can do. Right now, the X Turismo is mostly used in safe, controlled environments, like private tracks or demo events. That's because air traffic rules haven't fully caught up with flying vehicles like this. But in the future, it could be used for disaster response, infrastructure checks, or even personal travel, once the regulations are in place. So the X Turismo might not be ready for your daily commute just yet, but honestly, it's a powerful sign of what's coming. As technology improves and, you know, laws adapt, we might actually see hover bikes like this become part of everyday life. What do you think? Would you ride one? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more fascinating tech stories. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.